Hey everybody, Christian from Treasure Town here, and today we're gonna to be unboxing a consignment. I believe it's 15 interesting and special European coins, mostly from sort of Scandinavia and Germany. I don't know everything that's in here, so I'm excited to see what we've got, but they're gonna be selling in my Whatnot auctions starting this coming Saturday, um, and then I think I'll sell the remainder in the next two Saturday sales. But anyways, I don't even know what's in here, so you know, outside of a general idea, let's open it up and see what we've got. And when I opened it up, two coins fell out. You can see some of the um, post dust on my hand, but let's see what this is. The first coin is gonna be a very chunky coin from, I wanna say that's Queen Christina, um, and I'll check it out, a quarter or 16 something five, maybe 45, but I'm gonna have to do a little bit more uh, research. It also could be 1635 as to the specifics here, but that I believe I've seen that monogram before should be a Queen Christina. And these are often, it's not uh, uncommon for them to be off center as that is, but it's a nearly 400 year old piece of history out of Sweden. And so is this one. The flip has been broken a little bit because it's a super chunky item. It's a 1766 two ore also from Sweden. And I think that that means silver mint, but I don't know exactly uh, either the, there's different types of, you know, some of them is or silver mint, others of it is not. This one right here has a bit of a rim clip, which is kind of interesting. I think that I've seen them before with that, but it still is in a pretty nice state of preservation. So um, I also think that the AF is, I know there's an Adolf Frederick in there, but it could be something else. And anyways, reminds me a lot of the five Kopec coin from Russia. Uh, but after that, I'm gonna pull this back. And that five Kopec was Emp Empress, excuse me, Catherine the Great. And it looks like there's a bunch of additional coins here and these ones are better identified. So this first one is a 1750, not sure what the IK is, but the Arch Archbishopric of Cologne is, it's got a three Stuber. So there we see clearly three Stuber, Munzcher Köln, so maybe it's like the Church of Cologne, Land, Landmunz. Uh, so sort of just like a crest and design on this side of it, but that should be a pretty spectacular item. So very excited. It's probably pretty low percentage silver, as is this coin, which is going to be a Swiss Canton of Graubünden. It's a one-sixth Batson from 1807. So another really interesting and specific world coin Schweiz Batzen from the canton of GR Bunden is definitely Klau Bunden. How interesting, such a neat piece of history right there. And this is a area of coinage that I haven't done quite as much sourcing in. This one looks like it says ham, so I don't know if that's Hamburg or maybe it's just something separate, but Tri Fenig, three Fenig, and then on this side we've got 1729. So Stadt of Ham. This one's copper, not a not going to be a precious metal play of any type. Uh, this next one right here is a Hanau, and this one actually looks to be in... I wouldn't be surprised. What does it say down there? It says copper. It kind of looks like it could be the slightest bit billin, but it's a one heller Scheidemunz from the Hanau Munzenberg Countship. Very interesting and specific. Wilhelm the Ninth is the ruler on that one. So... That's great. I think a lot of these, I talked to the consigner, I'll put in small reserves on them, but they should be pretty, you know, we're gonna go over them, but they shouldn't be too expensive. But maybe some of this stuff is like, you know, 30, 40 plus. I'm not exactly sure on all of the values. Here's a Friedrich Casimir from the Countship of Hanau Lichtenberg. I've definitely never sold any coins of theirs before. I love how it has the specific date, 6, 1678. That's gonna be a fun one to offer and then this one kind of looks like a three polker but it it really looks like a three polker it even has the 124th but it's a 124th taller from 1618 so it's the exact same time frame that they were making the three polkers as well that kind of makes it even more interesting but this is from the principality of Anhalt I don't know who all these you know Christian the first Rudolf von Zerbst Ludwig von Kothen it must be a 
mix of different rulers that were in the Principality of Anhalt. Let's see how this side looks. Really looks similar to that Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth King Sigismund III Vaza, who really brought them to their peak. So that'll be a great piece to contrast, because I probably sold 50 of the Polish-Lithuanian, never sold any of that coin before. And a 1752, and this one even has some mint luster on it, a Gossler one Fenning. 1752, really nice shape, and it looks like there's some sort of a religious, maybe Madonna and Child, Maria Mater Domini. So I, I'm almost positive that that's what that indicates. That should be really cool, great piece of coin history, and that's going to be another one that I'm particularly excited to offer. This next coin right here is a 1682 two Albus coin from Cologne. Very pretty item. We can see the date very clearly. It's in nice shape. Colony Mun Kult or something. Layup is by Leopold. Two Albus. Such a nice coin. Again, I wish I had a little more knowledge to be able to comment more intelligently, but it's interesting to see the different, like this is an Anhalt coin, but from 1865 when it's Anhalt Dessau. We had that earlier Anhalt one, that's the Polish-Lithuanian from 1619, or 18. There's so much continuity on these items. So right here we've got Leopold Friedrich Herzog von Anhalt. That'll be a really nice way to contrast with the older one. And I haven't figured out which Saturday sales these are going to go into, but you can expect... I would probably say five in each of the next Saturday sales, so that should be fun to observe. We've got an 1803 One Kreuzer here in nice shape, actually. It's a good-looking coin. It's a, a very nice-looking coin from Austria, further Austria. I don't know what that means either, but really sharp coin history, and the fun often for me is in the research after the fact. Here we've got a Constance, the free city of Constance. A one Kreuzer Billen coin. Let's see. With a nice, nice looking eagle with wings. Free city of Constance. Beautiful item right there. Billen Kreuzer coin. And that one's going to be a little bit older, too, more towards the end. A lot of the older coins don't have specific dates on them, especially the lower value ones. There was less of a reason for them to really put the date on there. Um, they're just striking these sort of to be used as small change. And remember, back then, not everybody understands money the same way that they do now. There's different purities, and often, you know, this is a, probably the opposite of that. It's a nice, it's probably clean, but 1860, 1826, five Batson from the Swiss canton of Argau. I've seen some larger of these coins, you know, you can see the brushing. I don't know if that's as struck. My guess is that's just been cleaned up, but it's still a really nice lustrous item that I'll be very pleased to offer. But the cantons, I want to say there's 22 of them, and they were united in 1847 in Switzerland. And so it, they all struck their own. There's like a rich coin history and coin tradition because there were all these pretty functional provinces and cantons within sort of greater Switzerland, what's now Switzerland, that were independently striking of each other. And this last coin is, I've never seen one of these. It's a one or a Vesta mint. It's a star. I don't know if it's if it's the star mint or if it, it is called a star. I think it's just a one or coin. But this thing is incredible. 1686, Carl the 11th, beautiful coin. This is really the equivalent, and I didn't know that they made them this large, of the five Kopec, except 100 years earlier out of Sweden. I'm glad that I saved this one for the end. I think this is going to be some really fun bolstering to these upcoming sales. Again, I mentioned that, but super pumped that we get to offer these items and I'll look forward to seeing you guys not too long from now. Isaiah's been doing a great job holding it down as well, so he may sell a few of these coins, and yes, we'll look forward to seeing all of you. Thanks for watching the video, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to visit our website, treasuretown.com, to stay up to date on everything going on on the channel and possibly get some great deals on coins and collectibles. We look forward to seeing you on our future videos, and best wishes until then.